There's yet another salmonella outbreak, and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention (CDC) is calling it a salmonella outbreak with unknown food source. The outbreak has already left at least 279 people ill and 26 hospitalized in 29 states. Now, typically, when you ask, where did you get this food, and someone responds, an unknown food source, you probably wouldn't say, okay, great, time to dig in, and if you have anything else from an unknown food source, please put it on my plate. There are many things that you shouldn't use on. The list includes food, underwear, condoms, vibrators, toothbrushes, supplements, and mouth guards. It's not a good idea to find a pair of underwear on the street and wonder, hmm, perhaps I should try this on to see if it's my size. Similarly, you really should know the source of your food before using or eating it. In the case of this recent CDC announcement, though, unknown food source means that the CDC and public health officials have yet to determine where the salmonella contamination may have occurred. That's essentially what CDC said in the following tweet investigating such an outbreak entails interviewing those affected and try to find any commonalities among them. For example, did they all eat the same kind of food item? Did they all get their food from the same source? Did they all dine with hedgehogs? Any identified commonalities may eventually help find the source of the outbreak and in turn more specific recommendations on what to avoid. So what do you do when there is a salmonella outbreak while the source remains unknown? Not eating anything at all would not be a viable option. Such a strategy could leave you kind of cranky and hungry. Instead, make sure that you utilize good food safety practices in general. For example, just last month, I wrote about a salmonella outbreak linked to Italian-style meats. So it's been a good idea to check your meat. As I've described previously for Forbes, a salmonella infection of your gastrointestinal tract can lead to a 4-7 to seven day bout of bad diarrhea, fever, and stomach cramps. 